what does it mean to have property? Well, we have a ledger. We have an information record where we have to register ownership. Second, we verify who, and we do that with digital signatures. Now that's a 1970s technology, that's, but it works really well. Digital signatures are at the core of the blockchain and we will talk about the awesome things they do. And then I need to verify when. So we need timestamps and we see like, oh, I gave it to you in the morning and in the afternoon you gave it to somebody else. So we keep track of when things happen so nobody can cheat with, oh, I already gave it to you. And we actually chain them together. That's where the blockchain comes from. And that has amazing properties. And then we chain them together. And this is amazing properties. It is this chaining together. That's where the block chain is coming from. Uh, and this, the timestamp, the chained timestamps is the verification of when. And these are the basic ingredients. And Satoshi Nakamoto, who, who they wrote the white paper of Bitcoin, the first practical application of the blockchain. Also, that's how Nakamoto started. We define an electronic coin as a chain of digital signatures, period. It's a chain of digital signatures. So that's how you get started. But the innovation with Bitcoin as the first application of the blockchain was that they proposed to do it in a distributed manner and agreed. So there's a consensus algorithm that agrees on what goes onto the blockchain. And therefore, there is no need for a trusted third party. And that makes it a really good property. And some prop a property rights system that is as good that it can register the property of data. And hence, it is a really amazing candidate of becoming the technological solution as for the property rights system of the digital age.